Hello, everyone. Um, I would like to say that uh, Diana, for family circumstances, had to leave. So my name is Edwinas Zingarichos, and I'm uh, Diana's colleague. So, and I will try to present uh, Diana's presentation regarding one of our university project, which is uh, called Mode IT. And the presentation is about the conception for study models modernization in mod IT project based on the MOOCs method. And the next, the content of this presentation is uh, first uh, to talk about challenges related with effective design of online courses. Uh, the second is uh, ways uh, of study models modernization. And the third, uh, we can talk about the scenarios and templates for MOOC method implementation. And next, uh, what were the main challenges for MOOCs authors and uh, for our project? So how effectively to design uh, the MOOC uh, to be integrated into formal education towards making it, it more flexible and attractive learning for students? It was a most um, uh, serious uh, question and uh, the challenge we had to understand. And the next is uh, uh, about innovative uh, mode IT project approach and uh, to what uh, approach we should contribute. So uh, assuring effective uh, planning design, uh, pedag pedagogical and technological aspects, and delivery processes. These are the main uh, three uh, parts. And the next, uh, in planning, in the first part, uh, the main aspects are these two points. So it's competences of acad academic staff on MOOCs design and delivery processes, and the second is technologies. So we have two main aspects in, in this uh, site. So it's competences and technologies. Uh, for a second part, we had uh, uh, methods of learning and technologies. So for methods of learning, we can use various methods. For example, uh, video-based learning, uh, flipped classroom or MOOCs and what kind of te technologies we can use. So also um, we have various technologies that uh, it's recommended or we, we are using such as uh, adopted model, Coursera, Future Learn, edX, and etc. And the next slide is about how effectively design the MOOC. So here uh, we have uh, the main three parts so uh, introduction, then uh, uh, submodules, uh, for example, submodule one, which consists of video activity, readings, quiz, and dis discussion, and the second submodule, which is again consists of uh, video activity, readings, quiz, and discussions. And you can use uh, these submodules as much as you need. Uh, then using these models, you, of course, need to analyze learning analytics and after that, testing. So there are main three parts, introduction, submodules, and testing. And next, uh, here uh, you can see our best practices or examples of our university models in national languages. Uh, these examples are also from the projects and uh, well, not only the project but uh, uh, which are using uh, teachers of our students. So this is uh, kind of a best practice examples. And for the next slide, uh, you can see uh, as well our university models in English languages and you can introduce them. Uh, read and and comment or write to Diana for for any questions. And next, 
yes uh, mm, about the assurance of effective preparation of course design so again there are two parts uh, uh, of preparation how to prepare this course so usually it's uh, we are using templates and logical metrics and first uh, we i'll talk about a template so again this is a like kind of example like a model title and topics in the first part then you write about the skills related to the topic then a model learning outcomes which are directly linked with skills uh, then uh, assessment of learning activities what kind of assessment tools you will use and the last one is the context of learning material what context uh, what uh, materials, what uh, technologies you will use, what kind of videos, audios, text, uh, internet sources, chats, or any kind of. And in this uh, template, you can use to create your own MOOC. And the next is assessment, as well as uh, this is like a module that we are using. Uh, and as well, it's uh, introduction um, the assessment parts uh, to uh, each model you uh, you are teaching and assessment and evaluation and certification and the next as well you can use uh, this template it's a logical matrix for assessment design and again uh, we have a course uh, what kind of, you have uh, skills which uh, students need to achieve uh, and you have uh, topics for each skill and uh, uh, learning outcomes or objectives to that uh, topic. And to each of this part, uh, you can use questions rela related to uh, outcomes and uh, correct answer. And here is a practical example of which uh, we are using in our university. And you can follow the links uh, where uh, our modern IT project uh, is. So uh, thank you for your attention. Uh, next. And uh, if you have any questions, uh, so please uh, write to Diana. She will be happy to, to answering them. And again, sorry, uh, just for a family circumstances, uh, she had to leave. So uh, thank you for your attention and uh, goodbye.